Hi, I'm Peter Greenwall and my aim is simply to inspire your creativity using a comedy musical seminar featuring a good time, pretty faces. The objective is to tap into the wealth of brilliant ideas currently playing hard to get inside your head. Step 1. Label your confusion. With a name, a catchphrase and a song. What's confusing you? Label your confusion, give it a name, give it a catchphrase, give it a song. Why don't we fall off the planet? That would be gravity, end of mystery. Why do I feel depressed? That would be depression. It will do that to you. What causes it? It could be that you're extremely bored at work and unmotivated. What do we need? Some kind of comedy musical seminar about innovation. It could be that you're just not connected to the internet. This anxiety is called discomgoogulation. Have you ever felt this? Of course you have. You just didn't label it. So, innovation starts by labeling and identifying a problem that's always existed. It just never had a name. Why can't I have a delete button for my inbox? Just by asking the question that nobody can answer, you invent it. Once you stumble on a question that nobody can answer, not even Google, you're free to start making things up big time. This is how your guessage or imagination turns into knowledge when enough people believe your story. What makes women happy? No idea. That's why it's a book, a movie, a TV show and a bunch of products and new services. But these products are the final stage of the cycle of innovation. It all starts with some kind of crisis or random idea generator which triggers neuroses. All the questions what the how did this happen why me who can we blame a realization that the old rules don't apply anymore and osmosis kicks in which is the transfer of information from what you already know to what you don't know information rushes in to fill the gap with the believable story and we have leadership which is the art of transferring the neuroses into confidence universe senses the confidence sends another crisis and the whole process starts again. My job is to help you identify the crisis so that you can break things down to make more things up by labeling your confusion with a name, a catchphrase and a song. And by song I mean business plan or whatever story it is you're trying to tell. For example, you're the captain of a ship, you hire a car, you get lost. You think to yourself, why can't I navigate my car like a ship? There's your metaphor. The source of the information which now travels from sat nav in ships to sat nav in cars and we have a new product. But the confidence causes chaos in another area of your life and you lose a golf ball. Again you think why can't I use sat nav? Just by asking the question you invent the satellite tracking golf ball. Combined with caddy nav it tells you exactly where your golf ball is. Stick a caddy nav on a golf cart and it automatically navigates to your ball without you but with your ping clubs. But the confidence only causes chaos in another area of your life and you're trying to pay for parking, but you can't figure it out. And even when you do, it won't take your money. Why can't I use SatNav? Information now travels from the traffic department and we have PayNav. Electronic billing for parking via SatNav. PayNav not only finds you a parking bay, but tells you how long you're allowed to be there for and bills you electronically automatically. So what's just happened here? All your issues have unleashed your stupid, your special talent from a unique blessing in disguise. The unique way that only you can connect the dots by labeling your confusion with some kind of product. But that's the easy part. You've still got to get the word out. Get the people educated, tell them everything about them Make them wonder how they ever got by without it Manipulation of the people to believe in what you want them to believe Gotta get a gimmick, like a 10 year guarantee It's affordable, it's affordable So buy one, get one free With a little persuasion, you'll see our point of view We're just trying to build a better world for you So label your confusion, give it a name The secret to creativity is knowing how to hide your sources. So, what do we do about other people's brilliant ideas that we wish we could have thought of? 
R&D, rehash in disguise. If you see something you like, you adopt it, you raise it your own way, you get yourself in the mix. In other words, you copy, paste and adapt. In business, it's called innovation. In art, it's called having an influence. And in nature, it's called evolution. Either way, you're involved, so you may as well learn the process. Separate the Coke from the cola, the Kellogg's from the cornflakes, the melody from the harmony. Then you improvise your own trademark product over a popular market. By analyzing the market, seeing how simple it is, it's only three chords, and then getting yourself in the mix, adding your own little twist. And then it becomes yours. Hey, Chew Jade, let go of what you know. Take an old song and make it your own. It might not be better, but at least it's yours. And you've avoided all the copyright laws. Now that you have your own original product, what do you do with it? It's a hit or a flop or it's over the top or it sucks and you don't know why. Is it hip? Is it hot? You don't know what you got until you throw it up and watch it fly. It's a hit or a flop or it's over the top or it sucks and you don't know why. Is it hip? Is it hot? You don't know what you got until you throw it up and watch it fly.